Robbie Weeds here. Uh, wanted to point out some yellow clover. Um, I've been talking about the difference between yellow clover and yellow wood sorrel. Um, here we have yellow clover. Uh, definitely way darker. Um, very similar leaf shape, but it, uh, the way that uh, it folds and lays flat compared to the yellow wood sorrel that's very folded. Um, if you look close, the leaves are actually a little smaller than the yellow wood sorrel. Uh, this uh, is interconnected. It doesn't come from one tap root. Um, it's uh, one plant through different rhizomes. Um, again, this is very difficult to treat. You're either going to have to use your three-way with a lot of um, spreader sticker to penetrate the, the waxy cuticle, or you're going to have to use a herbicide uh, that's uh, very, very uh, active on clover, such as carfentrazone, uh, quicksilver, or um, a herbicide that has carfentrazone in it. You could also use um, uh, uh, oil-based, the ester-based herbicide, uh, uh, either a 2,4-D ester or um, uh, triclopier ester, turflon ester, um, any of those will get you good control, but just using your three-way alone, even at max rates, usually doesn't give you complete control. Sometimes you'll curl up some foliage, but um, you'll need to come back and touch it up. So yellow clover, very similar to white clover. In my area, white cl clover is a lot more common, but uh, yellow clover definitely uh, deserves some attention just because of uh, the difficulty of control. Robbie Weeds out.